This is the latest accessory I got from my Jeep the other day. It's the Gladiator grill, and I'm really excited about putting it in. But it came in this matte color, which I didn't like, so I sent it off to a local shop here to have it painted glossy black to match the rest of my Jeep. And here it is when I got it back, all nice and glossy. So much better. I'm really happy with this, and I wanted to have it installed right away. So here's how the Jeep looked originally with the factory grill. And here it is once I managed to get the grill off. My husband had to help me with this part because I managed to get all the screws out and I managed to get the uh, bulbs out for the turn signals. But that bottom part of the grill was stuck in there good and well, I'm just not very strong so he had to help me pull out that last part. Now here are these little gold clips that go on here. I watched a lot of the videos that show you how to install this grill and similar grills, but none of them mention having to put these little tabs on, at least not that I remember seeing, so. We had to gently tap those in there and finally got them on. Some of them were really difficult to tap on, and between Chris and I, we both got it together. And we ran into two snags while putting this all up. The first one was that these two clips in the bag were stuck together, and we had a hell of a hard time pulling these apart without damaging them. The second problem we had was the passenger turn signal was a nightmare to get it back on and we had already put the grill on. Uh, it was much more difficult than what was shown in the videos and most of the videos only showed the driver's side which came off easily and went back on rather easily. So basically this is my first and my last major install on my Jeep. I'd rather have a professional do these kinds of changes from now on. And in this next part I'm just uh, putting the screws back into the top and then afterwards we put the weather stripping on top of the grill and it looked really really nice. Oh there's uh, one of the uh, turn signals being reinstalled. And at last the Jeep looks so wicked. I'm loving this grill and this is gonna go so well with the whole scary fear theme that I'm going for. And the other thing that got updated was I got tired of the default floor mats that came with the Jeep. Um, they're boring and terrible. They're just black carpet. They don't even have a logo. So I changed those out for the uh, Mopar ones that I got from the dealership. Uh, just the front seats, passenger side, and driver's side. And I'm really, really happy with these changes. So yes, this looks much better. I'm very pleased.